So we're here in Los Angeles at our Glass Technology Center where we make all the prototypes for all of our vehicles. And to give you a real life example of the acoustic performance of our side drop, just roll up the window here. And to give you an idea of how comfortable the experience is in our vehicle. So as the designers first sketched the Model Y or S and X and 3, they just sketched the glass from the front of the vehicle all the way to the rear of the vehicle. And we spend a ton of time making sure that each glass position is the right curvature, is the right size and shape in order to give that seamless approach. One of the coolest things that we've done is incorporate acoustic side laminated drops across every vehicle at Tesla. So what this consists of is a glass sandwich. You have a glass outer and a glass inner and in between an acoustic dampening layer for road noise, wind noise that the customer will experience and make the inside occupant feel quieter. So what we have here is a 2% tint we use on roofs and, and things of that nature. We combine that with uh, different types of thin films that have properties like solar for reflecting uh, radiation. And we'll combine that with uh, a standard PVB that has uh, different properties. Some have acoustic properties, others have solar properties. So we have to be very uh, careful on what we choose uh, to go into the vehicle. As we look at these large pieces of glass, safety is a huge consideration. So we work with our exteriors, our closures team on making sure it is very safe for our occupants. For things like rollover, roof crush testing, then we go into the thermal aspects to make sure it gets the best thermal performance. The roof itself absorbs 99% of the UV radiation coming in. So it's amazingly safe, even though you have this large open experience inside your vehicle. So across all of our vehicles at Tesla, we have a suite of autopilot cameras here in the front of the car, looking forward through the windshield. So in, in a sense, our windshield is becoming a lens in front of the camera. And we focus on things with distortion as well as working hand in hand with our autopilot team on functionality, heating function, as well as diffraction of the images that are coming in. And I would say it's part of the way that we're leading the industry and setting the standard for autopilot functionality and the 